Have you ever played a rogue like? There are types of games where every time you play, the levels are different, and there's a permadeath and no progression system. Popular examples would be the Battle of Isaac, Enter the Dungeon, and Hades. Now, what if I told you that there was a rogue like that featured a cerulean knight wielding a shovel? That's right, we're talking about Shovel Knight, baby! Woo! Shovel Knight Dig was released on September 23, 2022 for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Steam, and Apple Arcade. Dig features our familiar friend, Shovel Knight, on an adventure down the strange hole to retrieve his bag of treasures, which was stolen by Drill Knight and his squad called the Hexcavators, a group of six fiends stealing treasure and digging to find more treasure. The gameplay is weird to explain, but it's fairly similar to Shovel of Hope. Shovel Knight can jump, walk, attack with his trusty spade, and perform a Shovel Pogo. The only difference is that it's automatic when falling down, compared to Shovel of Hope, where you have to press down for it to work first. It's a blessing and a curse in its own right, and I'll get into why later. Related to the plot of the game, the stages you play through have the player travel down to progress instead of left to right. The most important part about this game is that the fact that it is a roguelike, as I stated at the beginning. Every time you jump down the hole, a new map layout is generated, with random positions for everything, and they all appear in a random order. The amount of possibilities is truly endless. Shovel Knight will get to travel through a choice of six different areas, those being the Mushroom Mines, Lair of the Spore Knight, the Secret Fountain, Lair of Mole Knight, which he does look different in this game compared to his Molten counterpart, the Smelt Works, Lair of the Tinker Knight, which remains to look the same from Shovel of Hope, the Magic Landfill, Lair of Scrap Knight. The Grub Pit, Lair of Hive Knight. And finally, Drill Knight's Castle, Lair of Drill Knight. All of these areas have their own gimmicks to separate them from the others, which is very important when it comes to the layout. Usually the order wouldn't matter, and it never does in this game. But if you want the true ending, you have to explore all six areas. You may be asking, how do you do that? Remember the overworld? That owl, right there. Smack him with your shovel and bring him down the hole with you. Doing that one event will trigger a whole series of events that lead up to the true ending. Personally, I've never completed it myself. But that does not mean that I didn't try. I spent a good three hours trying to get a good and lucky run and never got one. Which is exactly why the main issue starts here. Luck! Shovel Knight Dig requires so much luck in your favor just to get halfway into your journey. Layouts won't always give you more health or mana, or for that matter, the money to even afford those. It requires luck to even get a good start. And if you see a room that you want to go to, but you can't reach it, well darn, that sucks. Shovel Knight jumps lower compared to Shovel of Hope, meaning he won't be able to jump back up anymore. And even though Dig has so many negative attributes to it, the amount of positives easily make up for it. First off, amazing art style. I'm pretty sure that's a given with a game like Shovel Knight. Second, the music is also amazing. Still a given with a Shovel Knight game. Third, playing through the game is actually enjoyable. Take what I said earlier with a grain of salt. Playing through multiple times is so entertaining, knowing that you'll always be on the lookout to better your previous run-throughs. Dig is fun, you just need to find out what makes it fun for yourself. I think we can all agree that Shovel Knight Dig is one of the best games in the series. Is it the best? Probably not. But does it take a step in the right direction? Maybe for spin-offs in the future, absolutely, but not as a main series game. I'd rather stick to the traditional 2D platformers that they've always been doing. And with that all out of the way, that was Shovel Knight Dig. It's not my kind of game, but I still had a great time with it. And with that, this is the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Dan, out.